scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery that could shed new light on how the pyramids of Egypt were built. They have found a buried branch of the Nile River that is believed to have been used to transport stones to the pyramids. The river branch, which is called the Aramat branch, was hidden under desert sand for thousands of years. It was only recently discovered by a team of scientists using a combination of technology and historical data. The Ahramat branch is thought to have been about 39 miles long and 100 feet deep. It was active during the time the pyramids were built, and it is believed to have been used to transport the massive stones that were used to build the pyramids. This discovery is a major breakthrough in our understanding of how the pyramids were built. It has long been a mystery how the ancient Egyptians were able to transport such large stones over such long distances. The Ahramat branch provides a possible explanation for this mystery. The discovery of the Ahramat branch is also significant because it could help to shed new light on the history of Egypt. The river branch was likely used by the Egyptians for centuries and it could provide clues about their trade, transportation, and agriculture. The discovery of the Ahramat branch is a major archaeological find that could have a significant impact on our understanding of ancient Egypt. It is a reminder that there is still much to learn about this fascinating civilization. The major theories for how the pyramids were built. There are a number of theories about how the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids. The most popular theory is that they used ramps to transport the stones to the top of the pyramids. However, there is no evidence to support this theory. While the discovery of the ancient Nile branch provides a plausible explanation for the transportation of materials, some researchers have proposed a more unconventional theory involving lost technology and sound vibrations. This theory suggests that the ancient Egyptians possessed advanced knowledge of sound frequencies and their effects on matter. They may have utilized sound vibrations to manipulate the density and weight of the massive stone blocks, making them easier to lift and transport. Proponents of this theory point to various pieces of evidence, including the precise alignment of the pyramids with celestial bodies and the presence of acoustic chambers within the structures. They speculate that the Egyptians used these chambers to generate specific sound frequencies, which could have levitated or softened the stones, facilitating their placement with greater ease. While this theory may seem far-fetched to some, it is important to remember that ancient civilizations often possessed knowledge and skills that have been lost or forgotten over time. The possibility of a lost technology capable of manipulating matter through sound vibrations cannot be entirely dismissed. Further research and investigation are needed to explore the validity of this theory. If proven true, it would revolutionize our understanding of ancient Egyptian engineering and potentially unlock new possibilities for technological advancements in the present day. The discovery of the ancient Nile branch is a major breakthrough in our understanding of how the pyramids were built. It provides new evidence to support the theory that the Egyptians used water to transport materials to the pyramids. This discovery is likely to lead to further research into the history of the Nile River and its role in the development of ancient Egypt. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also subscribe to our weekly email newsletter, link below, to get the latest news about ancient history, lost civilizations, and mysteries from the past.